Prince and princess, animals that her people enchanted. Where can they be? Witches on their broomsticks way up high they sail. Over big bad wolves on each hill and dale in a fairy tale. Fly away to magic lands of fantasy. Sail to those enchanted lands across the sea. There's a land that's far away where folks live happy ever after in the fairy tale. An old English tale, Jack and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time in the countryside, a boy named Jack lived with his mother who was a widow. They owned an old cow and little else, for they were very poor. Their tiny house was always in need of repair. Jack loved to dream that someday he would go out and make his fortune. Then he and his mother would live happily ever after. Meanwhile, there was scarcely a crust of bread in the house. I'm afraid we're going to have to sell the old cow. There simply isn't enough for us all to eat, Jack. All right, Mother, now don't you worry. I'll sell her and fetch a good price for her. Just wait and see. Jack set off for the market far away. Over and over, his mother had warned him. They'll try to cheat you, Jack. Be sure to get a good price for her. Wait, Jack. A total stranger who somehow knew Jack's name said he would take the cow. Look well at what you shall have in exchange, Jack. Five magic beans. With these, you shall never be poor again. Magic beans. Jack agreed to the exchange. Goodbye. Please take good care of her. Magic? To trade a cow for a few beans was stupid, Jack. You were cheated. She felt that the boy had ignored her warning. Now we have no money to buy bread, no cow to supply butter or milk. You must be punished for not listening to me, Jack. You shall have to go to bed without your supper. A crust of old bread, a drink of water, and Jack fell into a troubled sleep. He dreamed of the old cow he had traded away for a handful of beans that now were lying scattered on the ground. Next morning, Oh, I forgot to close the shutters. Oh, I'm hungry. <gasps> what? A beanstalk. It reaches through the sky. It must have grown from those beans Mother threw away. Then the old man didn't cheat me. The beans were magic. Jack's heart was pounding with excitement. How high did the beanstalk reach? He had to know. Gee, I can see all the way to the market. The top of the stalk reached above the clouds. <gasps> Seems like a castle of sorts. But for what kind of creature? Those doors are gigantic. Bones. <gasps> the creature must live on people. All he gets is me here. What's that? Fee. Fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. A giant ogre. Hungry for a morsel before dinner, he sniffed and snuffed the air. Huh, must be the scent of that traveler I cooked last night. Jack watched from the fireplace as the ogre opened a money bag and began counting great pieces of gold. Soon the giant fell happily asleep. Mother, mother, I'm back. We're rich, Jack. 
The boy showed his mother the great gold pieces and told her of his adventures in that strange land at the top of the beanstalk. He thought the fortune would last them forever. But the gold pieces were quickly spent for things long needed. Soon they were gone. The money bag was empty. And Jack's thoughts turned once again to the beanstalk. It can't be helped. I've got to climb it again and do even better. Once again, he entered the castle and hid in the fireplace. Come, little hen. This time, instead of a money bag, the ogre placed on the table a hen, but not a common hen. Lay. Golden egg. What would mother get to see that? When the giant's asleep. <laughs> No common hen, Mother. Watch. Lay. <gasps> lay. 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 Jack's mother knew there was no need for him ever to climb the beanstalk again. But Jack thought... I wonder what other treasures the ogre has in this castle. Keep playing. As Jack went, the ogre kept gaining. Jack was beginning to believe he would never reach the bottom. Now I've got ya! The very instant he reached the ground, Jack had rushed to the woodshed for an axe. Beanstalk crashed to the ground. That was the end of the magic beanstalk and the end of the giant ogre. From that day on, Jack was content to remain quietly at home with his mother. With their golden harp and their magic hen, they lived happily ever after.